Hiya, this is Nettie and welcome back to Squishy's house. So last episode, you may have guessed it, we did a picnic bench. So loads of you got it right in the comments, I was so impressed. Loads of you got kind of got it like earlier on and then, um, or were guessing other things and then realized it was a picnic bench. So it's quite cool seeing like everyone's opinions change. So this episode, the, well, the word we're going for is colors. So we are gonna make the picnic bench a little bit safer. And so instead of having loads of big gaps, we're gonna have a tablecloth going across it. Um, this episode, we do have it sped up again and I'm doing kind of like another Q&A. Um, I think this is gonna be like the last episode like this for now, um, as these are kind of like uh, last episode and this episode. They've kind of been like the big, like kind of builds where it takes the whole episode doing like just one thing. So um, there's not really that much for me to tell you what I'm doing whilst I'm doing it. Once I've said like, oh, I'm doing a tablecloth and it's this pattern. Like, there's not really much else I can tell you about it. So we're gonna carry on with the Q and A. Um, one thing I did work out with this was um, with the pattern, instead of doing it, um, as you can see, there's like the cross and then the colors, it's actually easier to do like dark color, light color, dark color, light color. And then the next line's like three light, one dark, three light, one dark. And you're kind of doing it that way. I found it being like loads quicker if you're ever doing a tablecloth. Um, but anyway, so last episode I ended on what courses I did, but I didn't really finish it. But um, what I went on to do was like um, events management, like hospitality and events management is what I'm really, really interested in. And one of the questions I've got is the careers I want to pursue. So that is what I was, and I was also asked um, what I well, what I would do if I wasn't doing YouTube and everything. So it would definitely be events management. Um, now I've started doing YouTube, I think it is still something I would want to do. Um, I plan to do it at some point, but I think the style of event would probably be different now. So I would probably put on a, um, I've actually talked about it with Tomahawk about maybe doing a charity event where uh, people could come meet YouTubers and um, there would be like food and drink, well, like kind of like a band or I don't know, like music and games and loads of different things. So the parents will be happy and the kids will be happy and loads of things for everyone to do. But that is just literally all in my head at the moment. I've got it all pictured, but um, it's not <laughs> not in any way like planned. Um, people have asked like um, how I met my friends and my life outside YouTube and things like that. So um, I guess like meeting like my friends within YouTube who you already know. Um, I met um, Amy and Squid uh, a long time ago um, before I even had done a video. And um, they'd like come to stay with us when uh, Stampy and I still lived together. So um, I met them ages ago, but I wasn't really friends with them yet then. Um, that was more a case of they were my brother's friend and they came over and I had to, I didn't know who they were or anything like that. But um, So that was really cool. But then when I first started doing YouTube, uh, Tom had commented on one of my videos and then we had kind of, we kind of knew of each other and then we ended up like tweeting each other and we just sort of like became friends straight away. It's really weird. I think like Tom was my first like really close friend I got when I first started doing YouTube, which was really cool. And then we went on to, I don't know how I met Minnie. That's really weird. I think it was, um, he was working on a server and that's how I met Minnie. And then someone has actually specifically asked how I met Squishy. So I guess I'll say with her, it was, um, she had done a video for Stampy of like a mini game and he showed me it. And he had like looked her up and like liked her commentary and stuff like that. And so I was kind of like aware of her. And then she commented on like one of my pictures on Instagram and then like I followed her and then when like her and Stampy became like closer friends and things, like I got to know her more then and then she visited and so that's how I've known Squishy. Uh, so that's friends and my life outside YouTube, to be honest, there's 
YouTube is pretty much like, I think most um, YouTubers would tell you they don't get that much of a life outside of it at the moment. Like, um, it's quite full on. And like when we go to an event, like that's social and it's fun and we have like such a good time and like getting to see everyone and hang out. But at the same time, it's still involved with YouTube. So that is the majority of my life. That it really isn't a life outside YouTube at the moment. Um, someone's asked what I thought when Stampy started YouTube. So when he started, I had like, I didn't watch YouTube. I knew nothing about it really. The only reason I used YouTube was if a cat had fallen over or jumped off something like that. Those kind of silly videos. I didn't really watch it properly. So when he was doing it, like at first he would just do like silly videos and I found them funny um, and he'd like show them to me every now and then. I even remember when he reached 100,000 subscribers, I remember him telling me like, oh, like I've reached 100,000 subscribers and I didn't really understand what that meant. I was sort of like, oh, cool, like well done. Like <laughs> not really that phased by it, but obviously now, like if it's someone said like, oh, I've reached 100,000 subscribers, I'd be like, oh my gosh, like that's amazing, like well done kind of thing. So I feel a bit bad like looking back. <laughs> Um, I helped him out a bit as well when um, there was the sing for Stampy. I helped him go through all the emails and things like that. So if you had sent a song in, I probably heard it. Um, I heard a lot of um, Frozen parodies. It was when Frozen had just come out. But um, Someone's asked if anything strange has happened to me, like paranormal or anything like weird like that. Um, I don't think it really has. There's been like the odd... Thing where I'd kind of be like oh what's that or when I remember when I was younger I would in the night I would be so scared I remember well actually this is probably the one thing that this was probably the most scared I've been ever in my whole life so bearing one I was really really young and in my room I had two beds even though that it was only me that stayed in there and I woke up in the night and I was like oh my gosh someone's in the bed next to me and I was so scared and I was thinking in my head like oh it's probably just like a pile of clothes or a toy or something like that and just because it's dark it looks like a person and I ended up sleeping under the covers I remember being really really hot and like sweating and like really really not enjoying it and I had a really bad night's sleep and I woke up in the morning and the bed next to me was all messy and I was like oh my gosh like this is really like scary my sister had been ill in the night in her room and so my parents had put her in my room when I was asleep and I didn't hear so when I woke up there was someone in the bed next to me but I got scared so I would say I've not actually had anything paranormal as more I panicked and got scared and thought it was <laughs> but my um the other because this is kind of I guess it's more weird for other people rather than for me but um i sleep talk as well <laughs> in the night i know this isn't like paranormal but it's kind of like along the lines of um just weird things and like happening at night time so i've had it before where um when we were like on holiday once and it, um stampy our sister and i were sh like sharing the same room and um stampy said that he would just hear like Rachel and I having a conversation with each other but we'll have a different conversation so I would be saying like this is this isn't what I said but I don't know what I said but say if I roughly said like oh yeah like look at the dog and she'll be like on Tuesday the green one kind of thing like we'll have two completely different conversations but we'll be talking to each other back and forth <laughs> but like sleep talking so that was like that's a bit weird um so that's that story um Someone has asked what I did before YouTube. So I've kind of, um, I was trying to get into events management. I went back into education and did a de degree in like hosp um, hospitality and events management. So I had to w learn like every aspect of the hospitality industry. So I had to work in a kitchen. I can make a two color soup. So half of the bowl is green and half the bowl is red, which is really cool. Um, I had to do like all silver service and like all management and eventy stuff. So that was really cool. Um, someone has oh, this is a, quite a good one actually. Someone asked what it was like the first time I recorded on my own. So for me, I I I wasn't used to kind of talking and 
recording or anything I was really really scared and nervous like when I first started up where I was kind of talked into doing YouTube I was kind of thrown in the deep end it was like the only reason I did it is because my mum didn't want to do the mum challenge so I did the sister challenge and so I really I wasn't I was like nervous and stuff and so I was actually genuinely like really nervous and scared and like as soon as I was aware that I had started recording I, my mind would go blank and I just wouldn't be able to think of anything to say it would be really weird and so what I did is I actually didn't really record on my own for ages <laughs> like that's why I don't know if, if like you've seen my dreamland or if you're new to it you might not understand that there's a person there who isn't actually in the game they are just sort of like just a voice and that's Zoe the Pigeon and that's basically she was my friend from like down the road and um I was I was like really scared about recording I was like can you just come and sit in the room with me and just so I so because I found it just weird like talking to I saw it as I was talking to myself rather than talking to you guys but as time's gone on I've kind of got more used to it but um I've actually only recently, I've done the odd episode by myself, but I would avoid doing it. Um, but only a few months ago, I did like my first real, um, I did UHC, um, which was like a UHC series with a group of girls. And that was like my first time doing a bulk thing on my own. And I was so scared. And so I did that and that was really cool. Oh look, the tablecloth's like done now, almost anyway. <laughs> it's getting there but yeah so I was really really scared of it um I really really just would panic over everything and even if, if you see the first series of UHG you can hear I'm really nervous and awkward talking on my own and I've only recently started like my new well I say new um I think I'm on like episode 54 but my world with no name is sort of like my first real series on my own so it was like kind of a big deal for me and like I think at first you can tell I'm really nervous I think even now like I get quite panicky about doing stuff on my own I don't know why it's really weird because I don't have a problem with talking and even if someone was just there next to me and didn't talk I would I think I'm less nervous it's really really odd so I'd say it's something that I still kind of struggle with a little bit I guess it's just nerves I don't know why my mind just goes blank um next question most embarrassing moments I see I keep trying to think of them but I can't I've had lots of embarrassing moments. I tend to embarrass myself quite often and it will tend to be really silly, like little things. Um, I had a recent embarrassing moment. It was um, at Insomnia 56, an event. Um, it was around Christmas time and we had done like a Secret Santa thing and Tom had got me a, a Christmas jumper and it, he had given it to me and he said, no matter what it is promise me that you'll wear it on stage and we were going on stage like really soon and um i opened it and it was a christmas jumper and so i was like phew at least it wasn't anything like a i don't know chicken outfit or something so i had this um christmas jumper which was fine it was really cozy like i love it i wear it all the time even though it's not christmas and um i had it on stage and the commentator made a point of being like oh but like i like your um jumper kind of thing I said explain like oh yeah Tom got it for me and Tom was like go on like show us it properly kind of thing and I was like oh gosh so I stood up and did like a little spin around and they were like that's not enough and they made me do like a catwalk on my own on stage in front of loads of people like in this Christmas jumper I think actually probably stage is like normally my most embarrassing time um especially if I'm with Tom and Minnie Mooka because we try and do we almost like troll each other I guess so um they'll try and um because where i did irish dancing whenever we're at an event in ireland they'll bring it up and make me do irish dancing on stage but then if they do that i'll sort of make a comment like i'll only do that if you sing or something and so we kind of stitch each other up a little bit on stage knowing that because it's on stage um you kind of really can't back down from it i guess we're just a bit mean to each other and um tom did it to minnie and i the um a couple of weeks ago at my invention um he made us do the waltz in front of loads of people that was quite embarrassing but it was funny though they're kind of more funny embarrassing things i guess i do more silly like i walk into lampposts often 
and like trip up or I drag my feet and trip up all the time it's really bad but I, I before I've been listening to music and in the song it had like a bike sound behind me and so I turned around like oh there's someone there but it wasn't it was in the music and then I walked into a lamppost that was quite embarrassing but yeah um next question I can't really think of anything too embarrassing favorite candy I don't really have a favorite candy I guess I basically I'm, I love Dr Pepper anything Dr Pepper flavored then that's my favorite easy yeah we'll just go Dr Pepper themed that's my favorite um someone has asked oh people have asked like what I record with quite a few people have said that so um I use a program called Fraps for my PC which I think it's like about 20 pounds so I don't know what that is in dollars um but it's like reasonably cheap and that can record like a Skype call as well so say if I was recording with Tom it would record his voice as well as mine but then um I use a program called Audacity which is free and that's what I use to record my voice and oh no I'm gonna sneeze <gasps> Oh, that's for you, Ali. Um, every time I sneeze, Ali commented on my sneezing once, so I always say it's for her now. Um, yeah, um, I've lost my train of thought now. It's completely gone. Oh, look, I'm showing off the the blanket. Well, the blanket, the tablecloth, and the. We still haven't done this side of the table yet, um, but it will get done. <laughs> we will we'll do that at some point there's i've got to try and like clear out some of the area for something as well soon so in a second we are going to be getting squishy back here but first i'm going to make like this kind of benchy bit like a bit more like secure and safe and this area is going to be like the balcony but there is going to be stuff on it and stuff coming off it like this is just what we're doing for now um but this is just kind of it just makes it more secure and it's just kind of like making it look a bit more like a house rather than just a um a picnic bench <laughs> so that's like makes it so she can like get on and off and um yeah it'll be i'm really excited about how this is gonna be um i have planned out some of the things that i'm gonna do um i have been keeping an eye on the comments so if you do have ideas on something that you want me to build there is uh i'm not gonna give a give away but there is something that someone's already said and i've actually kind of like roughly planned what i'm gonna do with that so do let me know um if there's anything you want to see on top of the picnic bench or under it or next to it um yeah so i'm really really super excited about what's gonna happen with that look it's so beautiful so much so we are gonna get squishy in now anyway um let me know what you guys want to see and you can still ask questions even though I'm not going to be doing it so much like this anymore. But we'll see you in a second. Hiya and welcome back. We are here now with Squishy and she is about to see what we have done. Oh, you were waiting for that, sorry. I know it's fine, it's fine. I've put my clothes on, I'm good. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're getting, getting ready. <laughs> I'm getting dressed, I'm good now. <laughs> I could have made you a dressing room, you could have said. Oh, thank you. Oh, you made a creeper. A what? You made a creeper for me. Oh, it took ages. Absolutely Look at him. ages. Look at him, he's beautiful. I don't even know. Oh, he's climbed up here, what's this? He's so <gasps> real, isn't he? I have a tablecloth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've got it. I was like, where did she go? You've got to go up the entrance. Oh, I was looking at the creep too. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, Come I'm going on. down the entrance. I'm going. I'm going. Oh, there's oh, a bone there, there as well. Blanket. Welcome to Squeeze. Oh, another bone. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got one this time, so no fighting. You're going to have to, like, give me a bone every single time yeah. I arrive. Just have a look at my house there. I'm just well, going to build a massive bone. bone. I'm going to, like, scrap the whole picnic table and build a bone. <laughs> you should. I'll live in a giant bone. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is beautiful, Nettie. So, yeah, this is your now, so it's a bit safer anyway, so you don't fall through the gaps. Yeah, yeah. So. I tend to do that a lot. And this is my friend, yeah? Yeah, yeah, you can keep him. I he's, keep you. He's friendly. He's Look how happy he is as well. 
Oh. I know he kind well, of has a sad face, but you can that he's like an opposite creeper. So because he has a sad face, it means he's really happy. He won't look at me in the eye. <laughs> he won't. He's like walking away. He's so sassy. Like it's because we, we've got... been bonding, and so he's he's become attached to me. But oh really? I'm sure, oh, I'm sure I see he'll... how it is. Look, look, he's oh. changing his oh. mind. He's changing oh. his mind. Oh no, he doesn't <laughs> oh, know no. what to do. He's, <laughs> he's just teasing, just spinning all the way around. <laughs> oh, this is. I like the clay. I love the clay. I yeah. I love it. It's like, oh, more bones. Oh, you, thank you. All three yeah, of them. Whoa. You have a bone party. You've got a balcony down here as well. Like, if oh, you don't where? go all the way down and then slightly okay. to the left, you've got like a balcony area. <gasps> oh, this is amazing. Oh, I like this. Is and this like the, the chair, though? Is this like the, the pole? Yeah, yeah. So, bench? this is where the people would sit at the picnic. But no one should sit on you. There's not. No, I hope not. I hope. Oh, yeah, imagine if this was like <laughs> the giant people come and sit on me. <laughs> I have actually <laughs> wondered before. Like, what if we are actually really, really teeny tiny, like ants, and we just don't know that there's bigger people? I always think of that. I like, don't. I always <laughs> think of it. I'd be, like, really scared. I'm just imagining a giant hand just coming down onto us. It's like, ah. Oh, yeah, know. so that oh, might I love happen. It. This is lovely, Nettie. I love the detail. Well, I I'm love it. I'm glad you like it. You know how much I like blankets. <laughs> you do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> oh, I love it. Thank you. I'm Lots glad you like it. So, guys, yeah. thank you very much for watching episode two of Squishy's House. And I'm glad that Squishy seems to like it so far. Let's hope that I we do. can keep it up. And we'll see you all next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>